All right, this last one, I just want to show you um, specifically the difference between a conjecture and a proof and what the question looks like. Because basically, this is the same question we're looking at. So this first one says, what conjecture can you make about the sum of three odd numbers? Okay, so three, excuse me, plus three plus three is equal to nine. Um, five plus 11 plus one. Uh, 16, that's 17. Um, three plus 19 plus 21. Three plus 19 plus 21. 43, I should have seen that. 43, okay. What conjecture can I make? The sum of three odd numbers is odd. That's it. Done. That's all there is to the question. So conjecture questions, which use inductive reasoning. pretty straightforward and pretty simple. Come do your sample, come up with an answer. Ta-da! I was going to say something about prime and not prime, but nine isn't a prime number, but these two are. But we don't know for sure that if I pick the right set of odd numbers, whether maybe if I did it long enough, I come up with a new answer. Inductive reasoning always leaves you wanting. Is there a counterexample out there somewhere waiting to mess up your proof? Mess up your stuff, right? So what can we prove? Ha. Huh. So proof means I have to use deductive reasoning. So I'm going to do it the same way. Um, yeah, one plus one. Five plus nine plus one. Fifteen. I don't really need to do this because I already know what the answer is, but that's okay. I want to show you the right, show you the absolute best that I can. Nine plus ninety-nine plus one is a hundred and nine. All right, so. We can see that the answer is odd. Which is, you know, when we did a conjecture, that was it. But now we have to prove it. So the proving part. All right, so first odd number. Uh, let's go 2n plus 1. Yeah, no consecutive, so whatever letter you want. 2x plus 1. Third odd number. 2p plus 1. Okay, so again, whatever variables you want, as long as they're not the same. So, mm, do the sum. So, all right, add these up. I'll do it down here. 2n plus 1 plus 2x plus 1, 2p plus 1. So, there's my first one, there's my second one, there's my third one. I know I could do it in brackets, but then I'd have to rewrite it, and the first thing I would do is be to take out all those brackets. So, what do we get? 2n plus 2x plus 3. And I just flip them so they're in alphabetical order there. And I want to prove it's odd. Well, whether you're proving it's odd or even, you're always going to divide through by 2. So that's going to give you n plus p plus x plus 1.5. I 
And right there, there's your magic. It didn't divide evenly by two, so it must be an odd number. The sum is odd because it didn't divide by two. And there we go. That is the difference. So you can see uh, conjecture is pretty simple. And the way I set up proofs, you know, basically start out with the conjecture. Most of the time, although I'll, I'll, I'll tell you the truth, um, it would say prove the sum of three odd numbers is odd. They first almost always have the answer in there for you. All right. Have a great day.